today we will be flying for the Pilots and Paws organization, which helps rescue animals from kill shelters in the south. We then transport these animals northward where they can be adopted. Our mission today brings us to South Jersey Regional Airport. As a matter of fact, we have some additional excitement for you today as well. Since New York airspace is regularly traveled by commercial jet airliner traffic during this time, we will be traversing New York at low altitude via the Hudson River. This special flight path, which allows us to bring you up close and personal with many buildings and structures you don't normally see. So sit back, get comfortable, and enjoy the ride. Oxford Airport on a brisk morning. Our flight today will take us from our base airport in Oxford, Connecticut to South Jersey Regional Airport in New Jersey. Once there, we'll pick up several puppies from a connecting flight out of Annapolis, Virginia. The trip's going to take about an hour and a half, so Dr. Mike decides to inspect our airplane prior to flight and stretch before climbing into a cramped cockpit. We start our engine and taxi to the runway for takeoff. Within a few minutes of startup, we're airborne and on our way. About an hour and a half later, we make our approach into South Jersey Regional Airport. The runway is relatively short and obscured by fog this morning. So Dr. Mike and I are extra cautious during our approach. Once down, we park our plane and wait for our connecting flight to arrive. And here they are, puppies and all. We quickly load our precious cargo. Although the skies are clear now, a weather front is moving in our direction. So to save time, while I secure our passengers, Dr. Mike conducts a safety inspection of the plane. We board the plane, obtain clearance from the tower, and taxi to the departure runway. In order to return to our home airport, we must traverse New York airspace. Dr. Mike and I know that during this time of the day, New York airspace is busy, filled with commercial airlines. To avoid any delays, Dr. Mike and I will travel a corridor designed for small aircraft that will take us underneath the busy New York airspace and return us to our home airport quicker. This corridor, known as the Hudson River Corridor, follows the course of the Hudson River. To use the corridor, we will need to fly northbound underneath the New York airspace at a relatively low altitude of 1,000 feet. Using this route and altitude, we will come close to several spectacular sites, such as the Statue of Liberty and the George Washington Memorial Bridge. Before we take off for home, we conduct our pre-takeoff safety checklist. Emergency fuel pump on pressure up, check. Mixtures rich, check. Engine instruments. We obtain our takeoff clearance from the tower and begin our journey home. Taxied onto the runway and we're starting our uh, starting our acceleration. Once we're airborne, we set course for the Hudson River corridor. 
turbulence on the uh, on the on the way up, but uh, it should level off once we get up to altitude. In route, the weather starts to deteriorate. We know that weather front is right on our tail. We're entering the Hudson River corridor now. We're going to drop down low so we can buzz the Statue of Liberty. That huge building is the Goldman Sachs building. Just below is the aircraft carrier Intrepid. Head ahead is the uh, George Washington Bridge. There's the Alpine Tower that uh, marks the beginning of the Hudson River Corridor. Dr. Mike and I continue down the Hudson River Corridor until we pass over an important landmark the Tappan Zee Bridge. Once we reach the Tappan Zee Bridge, we know we're clear of busy New York airspace and can turn safely east to our home airport. Soon we have Oxford Airport in sight. Our passengers will be placed in foster care until a permanent home can be found. Another mission complete. 